Don't you think it became a bit of a trend though? Like I think people were just hopping on it because their friends are doing it. They didn't know the true meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people will post the black. I've seen this myself, right? I've seen people post about the Black Lives Matter stuff, yeah, which is quality. Obviously, you want to spread the message, and then they'll follow on by saying all lives matter and stuff. They're clearly forgetting what the actual message was about, the initial message, I believe. Mm -hmm. so that, there's no integrity behind it. If you, if you actually mean it, you got to educate yourself on it. Why have you posted it? Why are we posting it? Not just doing it because your friend did or you've seen someone right. else do or a famous like, person did. Yeah. I think, um, you know, with the, uh, was it on Instagram, the Blackout Tuesday, like people posted, yeah. posting like black squares and then they were using like a hashtag Black Lives Matter, which was then just, if you were then, then to search Black Lives Matter in the Instagram feed, it would just be a black just block of just people yeah. posting and then it would just like unfilter everything else. So it was like, a, if used incorrectly, it was actually pushing people away, not bringing people closer together, which is what mm -hmm. it was for. Mm -hmm. As it also potentially became a plat social media became a platform to prove to other people that you're not racist. Mm -hmm. And yeah. obviously it's all a performative uh, way of doing it. So right. whether, or, whether or not it's true, you never know. It's just um, how you want to portray yourself on social media. Mm -hmm. mm. I think social saying? media was like so revealing, like the people that you follow. First of all, you know straight away if you're following any ignorant people, because they'll be the people shouting all lives matter and whatever. But also, you can identify those performative activists so easily now, and it's kind of like your choice on like how whether you choose to carry on following them or interact with them or whatever. Mm. Uh, I mean, we we were speaking a little bit about this um, with Sammy about like the people that you follow and how they come across, and especially not even just your friends, but celebrities you follow as well, because obviously celebrities have a bit very big influence on their followers. You know, we, we spoke a little bit about. Uh, Kanye and you know and all these other like different celebrities obviously probably quite a bad example but like what is their effect having on other people and do their followers have the same views or are they just following it because they disagree or because they like strongly agree and want to be more like that person in a way I think the problem with celebrities is that now with cancel culture they kind of have to say something or they're just going to be cancelled like whether they believe it or not, mm -hmm. if you don't show that you support this, you have, you're you going to get cancelled and your career is going to be ended. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a different pressure than I guess regular people would have because, for example, I don't use my social media platform to, I actually, I barely use my social media platform. I post like a picture on Instagram maybe like once every three months. So the only reason I'm on there is to like look at memes. And so for me to all of a sudden be posting all of these like um, articles and videos about BLM, like it would make it seem as though I'm out here to be performative. I'm out here to make it seem like I'm not racist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really just depends on how you're using your platform. Yeah. If you're going from being really quiet to, you know, like looking at memes, posting every, you know, three months or something, and all of a sudden you're, you become sort of like this page for, preaching about black lives matter or like or any movement for that matter you know it, it just goes to show that like you're probably just using this like as a tool for either likes or follows or just or just to show that you try and mm -hmm. fit in with yeah. what you're saying yeah. i think there was something to say about how there are parts of the internet that have been activists for a long time and it was one of those moments where the small grassroots groups or small grassroots businesses and stuff they suddenly developed a platform because people were searching for it so i think that was a big positive where people especially because it was in lockdown as well people could actively actually go out of their way and support black businesses and bme businesses and suddenly had the awareness and the accessibility to this information so i'm, I'm sitting here thinking that you know, i've had the privilege of being able to study black history at university under some of the like, best black minds in the world and that's like that's my privilege but getting that access to that information if you don't have a university library and making sure that it's accurate that it's not like slanted in a ridiculous direction that's actually more racist in some way some of the things that i was reading like that's actually quite difficult to find and suddenly there were like people were sharing and they were reposting some really really good content in amongst the random black tiles so i think like there is a there is a space that it could be used and we can use things like Instagram as a way to actually make the change 
and because it is such a source of education to everybody now in a, in a sort of a non-traditional way.